Alright. Sorry about that. I am back. Um, that cast uh, had StarCraft 2 crash on me. Turn the volume down here a little bit. Uh, sorry, on the first game, sound was way too loud and you could barely hear me. Just trying to uh, work this out a little bit. My tests just are really crappy, so sorry about that. Uh, anyways, second game between me and Guru. Here we go. <sighs> Lost the first game, if you missed it. Uh, sad day. Smaller army almost the entire time. He fast expanded, I didn't see it. So uh, anyways, here we go. This map, this is uh, Zelnaga Caverns. I really like this map. One of my favorites. Hence why I picked it, of course, since I lost the previous game, I got to pick it. Uh, both of us being very polite. Because we're both ballers like that. We both enjoy being polite. And to be honest, I'm kind of fond of this guy. He's very nice. What a guy. <laughs> Uh, I said in my other cast that crashed, but I'm not going to show you. Uh, I, I really like this map, but I used to absolutely hate it because uh, um, back when I was in bronze, I used to play off of one base, and I'd play against zergs who would build roaches off of one base and then just sit them outside your base, and there was nothing you could do about it. Well, I mean, there was nothing I could do about it because I didn't know how to use immortals at the time, but uh, yeah, and then he would just grab his second, and then he would grab his third, and then he would... Make a massive army, up to 200, and then just come and stop you. Very sad, but that's why I'm not in bronze anymore, I guess. Yeah! Gateway on the way, and I do not have my uh, simulator up yet. And I am ending this conversation of complimenting. Too much, too much. Is any kind of an early scout here? Maybe not. I haven't sent my scout out, as you can tell. Although, here he comes. Good little probe. A little bit later than his. Uh, he's got his fire area and barracks going down at the same time. <clears throat> Don't know why I state the obvious here. I'm a little bit ahead of him in probes because I've been crota boosting my probes like a boss. He can't do that because he's Terran. Later on, I will whine about the overpoweredness of mules. So, watch yourself. Uh, a little bit late here on my uh, cyber core. Normally I try to get that right when the gateway finishes, but I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Not playing, uh, not playing on the ball apparently. And uh, his orbital command is just finishing here. Got my first zealot coming though. That's what it was. I uh, spent my first minerals on a zealot instead of building a cyber core first and picking off the FCV. He is slacking. My probe got away and is still scouting. Scouting out his tech lab. At this point, I am expecting uh, some kind of marauders. Uh, especially since he has one gas. I'm expecting he's going to do some kind of tech marauder play and uh, also expand. And uh, here comes Stin and a marauder. That's about right. Finally, probe dies. After... Years of dedicated service. That's okay. His race continues. Three on each. I'm doing the same thing I did last game, actually. I'm gonna... I didn't plan for this properly, but I'm putting my pylon over here. So I can, uh... Drop my robo so he can't scan it. Because uh, if he's going to scan the main part of my base, he uh, he won't see anything down in this area. Uh, don't want to get it too close to the edge, though, otherwise Marines can pick it off. So uh, here comes my second gateway. Uh, a little bit strange that I'm dropping my robotics facility before my uh, second gateway is even up. Alright, Stalker's going to go do some scouting for me. I am expecting... Um, some kind of marine down here and over here and we can see there's no marine there so I mean that's cool uh, he's got his third racks up and uh, small little army here a little bit closer than the last game though which is great and uh, the robo facility is almost done we're only running off of two gateways here not a very large army 
and uh, wisely taking up two immortals and chrono boosting it. <sighs> Notice right here the scan. He doesn't see the Robo Bay. <laughs> He's probably suspecting some kind of trickiness. Maybe that's what spurred him to action here. Research complete. I, I bet you it is. Uh, his stim. Well, actually, no. It's a timing push on the stim because he just finished his stim. Runaway stalker. <laughs> uh, everybody's now retreating back to the base, but I have an immortal, and I'm warping in some more sentries. So I can do some pro force fields. Third gateway on the way, and I got more immortals coming. He's he's almost done with his uh, second command tower here. This is a very wise idea from him. Push out with a small army, keep me contained uh, while he does expand. But look at this, he runs away. I'm I still I still think he's sitting out here, but uh, he actually ran away. Um, but very quickly, I'm going to check to see if he is, if he is left yet. Uh, as I make my third gateway here, build up a little bit larger of an army with a couple zealots here. If I wasn't supply blocks, there we go. Alright. Oh no, I'm gonna make stalkers instead. I'm here in the shadows. It's just getting ready to expand. But, uh, getting ready to move out over here with my observer. And the probe is getting ready to do some proxy piloting. At this point, I realize he's not sitting outside my base anymore. And it's obvious to me that he's expanded, which he has. But, um, and so it becomes necessary for me to drop this. I see him scanning, so I, I cancel the Nexus real quick, so he can't tell if I is. <laughs> I don't see the purpose of this, obviously, because I'm going to need to expand. There's really no question about that, so whether or not I've actually expanded. I guess that's about as foolish as him scanning there to see if I've expanded or not, because... I mean, that would be foolish not to at this point. So there goes the Nexus. Three Immortals now. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I really like Immortals. They are ballin'. Ugh, look at that. 50 damage versus armored. <laughs> they get three shot of Marauder. It's so good. And, uh, bringing the probe in from behind. Got a couple more zealots coming in. And, uh, even more immortals. Good thing, because, uh, I'm guessing he's running very Marauder heavy, and what a surprise. 13 Marauders. And uh, 11 marines, so significantly more marauders than marines. Uh, which is good for me, because immortals are very good versus marauders. Very good indeed. Here we go, I'm getting ready for a push. And uh, in we go. Uh, no, it's not do the good work I thought they would. However, look at this. <laughs> Sniping is expansion. And wall die. But I didn't complete the wall, and so he's gonna get a couple slow shots on here. Pick off this immortal. Pick off this zealot. No! Pick off this immortal as well. Sad day, that was not worth it. And now I've kind of incited him into this all in. With a much larger army. I'm kind of a bad spot, to be honest. My expo just finished, but I'm not doing anything with it. Here he comes with his large army of SCVs. Oh, I hate the Terran SCV push. And, uh... I am not aware of this push, and I'm just gonna drop some gateways like a noob. And, uh, okay, one of my I those gateways. And, uh, I think I'm just gonna let him have this expansion at this point. And he's scanning to see what I've got up here. And uh, he's aware I'm warping in a couple centuries, so he's going to delay a little bit on this push up here. And uh, look at this. Sneaky me ran three zealots into his base when he wasn't looking from my sneaky little proxy pylon here. 
And uh, I'm just going to tear up his SCVs here. No big deal. Yeah. Can't see, but those guys have quite a few kills. And he's going to do a drop here and back while also trying to push up the front. Oh no, he's pushing up. I left a hole with my imperfect force field and then dropped three in retaliation. Uh, failure. That's okay, I'm still whittling him away, and I gotta make sure I'm mortal on the way. And my uh, gateway is now arrived. And watch these immortals, look at this. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, they are so good. And snipe the meta back on its way out. Oh man. This game has definitely turned around. I was very much behind when he pushed. And I somehow managed to, uh. Not too terribly, although I'm not aware. Or I wasn't aware that there was an SCV killing my probes, and I have not yet put them back on the line. <laughs> he's expanded again, and he's still not aware that I have a proxy pylon over here. Now I have the army advantage, and I am going for the all-in. It's just a game of all-in trades. To be honest, that's just what it is. He's gonna all-in, I'm gonna all-in. He's gonna all in until one of us beats the other down. And uh, fortunately, since I got this here, I can warp in by the time I get here, move all my guys down, and uh, then do a warp in. And uh, apparently, I'm trying to expand for naught. If I failed this push, then he would be good game at this point. And again, his expansion is awful. Look at the power of mules. But, uh, yes, my army is much larger. Uh, I need to work on this force field first. Uh, he's aware that I'm going to start sniping this expansion, even though I'm wondering why I haven't started yet. Oh, no shot at the immortal. Here we go, more zealots on in the way. I just realized I had that much power on there. What a sneaky map. And, uh, we can have a him. The Zealots are going to be pushing up here, trying to kill the Marauders. And he's going to let me do it, too. No. Look at that medevac heal. Healing through the damage of two Zealots. That's insane. Wow. Look at that go. But here comes the real push. The room. And pushing in with the uh, SCV, but I've got zealots in front and force fields in back. There's nothing you can really do about it. I need to work on the force fields. It's so bad. And the GG from Guru Infernal. So rock on. Uh, bit of a surprising win for me. I thought I was gone when we had that second all in. I guess I should go back to the. Uh, the first important push here. The same time I expand. Important note right here. When I snipe his expansion like a champion. Decides that he's run away from force fields quite appropriately. But uh now there's no save in the command center, but ah, oh, look at this. Starting off with three immortals. Four immortals. A zealot and a stalker in a sentry. Look at that. Two immortals killed. Oh, so sad. Actually, yeah. Exciting this all in, but he overcommitted a little bit when he went with his all in over here. Although, very clever with the drop play. Shocked I won this small battle here. All these SCVs, man. They're just taking damage. They're very powerful. You can kill quite a few workers here that I was just completely unaware of. And uh, now he's gonna run in with 10 Marauders, and they're just gonna get nuked to pieces by these three immortals. Oh, yeah. And 
that point, there really wasn't much of a game left. The all-in kind of killed him. Worse than mine did. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good game. Win for me. Sitting at 1-1 one, one now. At this point, I uh, still have a chance. Uh, despite my uh, belief that he is a bit of a better player at this point. Anyways, uh, on to game three.